Hi everyone, my name is Smriti Pramanik and I'm a magic mentor. I was also a magic mentee and I'm currently a software engineer at Google working on search. And today I am really excited to be interviewing Daphna. Um, her mentor couldn't be a part of this, Dev, but you can uh, hear more about her in the presentation recording. Um, so we'll get started. Dev, will you please introduce yourself? Oh, sorry. Daphna, will you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Daphna Steinmetz. I go to SK. I'm in 10th grade and I live in Woodmere, New York. Thank you. And tell us, uh, you know, a couple sentences about your project. Um, our project is really research based and we like did a deep dive into three main companies, ADOC, Viz.ai and Arteries and their medical imaging companies. And we focused on their cardiovascular sex. So we made a lot of on it. Yeah. And how did you choose this topic? Um, Dev works for a company called Tempest and it's like a medical, it's like a, in this field. So I want to like learn more about that. Right. And can you talk a little bit more about, you know, you did all of this research, um, kind of what you formulated from it at the end or the kind of the presentation essentially that you created. Yeah, so we made a PowerPoint and we made it like a very organized, like clearly readable, understandable presentation to be used maybe like in education or anything. Yeah, I, I actually asked this question in the presentation, but I wanted to, I'll ask again here, um, how you actually, you know, decided decided on the outline and the slide, um, you know, the different designs. And I really liked the, actually the kind of Venn diagram you had of these three companies and what, you know, put them together. So it left me as someone who didn't know anything, kind of taking away some of those. Um, how did you approach that? Okay, so for the Venn diagram, it was actually Deb's idea because I was like, I was a little bit stuck on making it like, I wrote down all the information, but like, it was very like in numbers. So then Deb's like, oh, maybe like make a Venn diagram. So then I, it brought it to life and made it more visual, visual and easy to understand. Right. And I, I think I saw that same theme throughout the rest of your things, you know, the mix of visuals so that you delivering the content could really add to it um, and explain things. So that was really cool. Um, how did you choose these three companies? Um, so at first, our project was supposed to be like medical imaging, AI, and like startups. And so the first one we found was ADOC. So we basically worked from that. Mm -hmm. And then we decided we wanted to focus on more like cardiovascular. So then the two other ones we found were like had a very good like technology software about these cardiovascular diseases and conditions. Right. Did you learn anything? I mean, I'm sure you learned new things. Did you learn anything surprising from your research? I learned so much. Like, like one example is that um, that um, cardiac arrest is like kills more people than cancer, which is crazy. Yeah, I don't think I knew that. So I, that's something I learned also in your presentation. Um, yeah, it's very. It can be so cool, and you've nicely compiled these now for the next, you know, interested people. And in have you actually showed this to anyone? Who do you think uh, would benefit? What kind of audience do you want? Um, I first of all, I definitely think that researchers would benefit from this a lot because if you're researching something and like it's just easy, like it's all in one place and it's very simple, and it's like a starting place for them. And maybe like teachers or like professors even could use this as like a starting place. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, you should be really proud of that outcome, you know, and all of the hard work you put into researching those. Um, so kudos to you and to Dev. What was uh, your favorite part or something you really enjoyed about this? The, definitely the experience of working with like a professional in the STEM field. It's very like inspiring. And like, I, re I think of Dev as like now a role model. That's wonderful to hear. I'm sure she'll be very happy to hear that too. And my final question for you um, is now you are an alum of the MAGIC program. Do you have any advice for incoming for new mentees? Um, definitely to, you'll put in as much as you'll like get out, if that makes sense. Like as much as you put in, that's how much yeah. you'll get out. So put in the work and then you'll get a great outcome. Yeah. I love that. It's applicable in many parts of our lives too. Well, thank you so much and congratulations again. Thank you.